Santos telling CBS2 tonight he is mentally prepared for the fact that tomorrow could be his final day as a congressman. He spoke with CBS2's Lisa Rosner in Washington tonight. The House needs a two-thirds majority to expel Santos. And whether or not that is done, Santos insists he is not resigning. This could be the last night Republican George Santos walks the halls of Congress as a U.S. representative. You heard your colleagues say they should expel you, they shouldn't. How are you feeling? I, do you know this immense amount of peace has literally entered my being over the last couple of weeks? So you've mentally prepared yourself that Friday could be your last day as a congressman? Absolutely. Calls for the 35-year-old to resign began late last year after constituents learned he fabricated his life story. But Friday's third resolution to expel him comes following a scathing ethics committee investigation that found he defrauded campaign donors. Because Santos was, was buying Botox and OnlyFans, we got to throw him out? He's also facing 23 federal fraud and conspiracy charges related to his campaign finances. He's pleaded not guilty. You lied about your background and the ethics committee found that you defrauded donors. Why are you still in office? So these are allegations that I am not at this time prepared or able to have those discussions. Why not just resign and put an end to this? Because me resigning is me folding, is me giving in to the desire of a select few. These constituents who traveled to D.C. from Nassau County disagree. There are over 700,000 people who live in our district, and this is a real issue for us. It's not a joke for late night TV. We're here um, to keep the focus uh, not on his antics, not on the Republicans' need for uh, majority in Congress, but on us. If you are expelled, will Long Island and Queens still be places important to you? I don't have immediate intentions of leaving, but in the trajectory that I see my state going and in the leadership in my state, I don't see that long term if something doesn't change. So will there be enough votes to expel Santos? Long Island Republican Congressman Nick LaLota believes that there will be. Democrats are holding a press conference ahead of the vote in the morning. In Washington, D.C., Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And Lisa's coverage in D.C. continues with that expulsion vote that's officially on the agenda for tomorrow. We'll bring you all the latest on the air, streaming on CBS News New York and on CBSNewYork.com.